Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you one brilliant application that brings together all of the amazing wallpapers that you would be able to use on the Galaxy S10 series. Now these wallpapers are in place to pretty much hide or conceal or take advantage of those hole punches in the Galaxy S10 devices. Now previously, I did shoot a video showing you where you can go on Twitter to download high resolution photos. Um, but And then also right after that, there was a Reddit that was created and now there is one application that brings it all together and it updates every one to six hours showing you that there's going to be a lot of new wallpapers you would be able to use multiple times in the day so you'd be able to open up this one application four or five times within the day and see new wallpapers that you've never seen before now the galaxy s10e over here does not have the application just yet so i'll show you where you can find it install it, and then how you're able to download some of these awesome wallpapers. Head over to the Play Store and search for Heidi Hole. Now that's a very clever name for this application, and that's pretty much exactly what it does, is that it hides the hole on the very top right-hand side with some very creative applications. Now as you open up this application, you will notice that some of these is made for the single hole punch or for the pill shape cutout. So let's say we open up the Galaxy S10 Plus over here, and as you scroll on down, you'll see that this one right here was made for the pill shape um, cutout and then as we scroll through over here this one was definitely made for the single hole punch now as you go through some of these uh, photos you can go through and you can change pretty much you know how bright it is you can change the color so if you want it to be brighter or not um, how much backlit would you want to be there so you can actually make it pop out just a little bit more and then also some of the saturation so if you want it to be a black and white or if you want it to be really saturated and then here is halfway so let's say that this was one that you wanted to have you have all these four different icons on the very bottom now this one over here just takes you over into where that image kind of came from from reddit if you'd like to see the original source um, this one right here you can scale it for the S10, S10e, or the S10 Plus, but really you don't need to do any of that. All you'd have to do is simply look at the image, see if it fits for your phone, and then hit on the download button, which is that down arrow. Now, if you're to go over to the second option or the very last option over here, which is the save button, what you're trying to do is you're actually setting the wallpaper from the application. So this is one thing that I highly suggest not to do. If you actually just save the images to your gallery, it'll work a lot better because if there's uh, you know updates that happen to this app or updates that happen to your phone and now your app and the phone are now running on different Android operating systems, you're gonna have some issues. So it's really the best thing to do is just download it directly over into your gallery itself. So let's say that we open this one up over here. So if you love BMW, here's one that you'd be able to use. Um, and again, it's going to be this down arrow. Now let's say that we just kind of go through just a little bit more and you can see that this is the one that I chose. Um, this one just made me laugh super hard. I had to you know use that one as my background and then also you have the double barrel again. Um, as we go through here you can see that there's a whole bunch of different options you'd be able to use. So this one would actually kind of work for the hole punch um, right over here as well as the pill shape because it is pretty much directed right over here on the right hand side which is where this one is also located now as we go through here you're gonna find a whole bunch of these things when you find one like this where there's a bunch of different colors kind of happening there um, you can change how it's going to look a little bit so you can see how, how I made the bottom a little bit darker um, and so this is something a little bit closer of what I would use and then for the backlit you can have it all the way down. So if you kind of want it to really drift off towards the bottom, you are able to do that as well too. So and then here is the saturation on how bright you want it to look. Um, and also if you want it to kind of look more like a grayscale or not. So as you go through here and then you hit on that download button, now it's gonna be saved inside of your gallery. Now, there is just a ton of wallpapers and backgrounds you can use. And then once you have all of them saved, actually this is a really cool one, is it's just black everywhere on the very top right hand side, um, which that is how it's basically being um, hidden. Now, as you go through, this one right here looks like the sun. I mean, it just everything just blends in fantastically. So how about I hit that download button again? Now, when we head back over inside of the gallery, what you're gonna notice is as you scroll on through, do it really slow and let it jump right on back. So you can see exactly what it's doing and how perfect it fits inside of where that circle is supposed to be. So with this one again, 
you can just see how it just goes right into place. Really cool, guys. And then now you got this one as well. So as you go through all of these, I found myself scrolling and scrolling and just going down and down. And man, there is so many wallpapers you can choose from. So now that you have downloaded your wallpapers, they're sitting in your gallery. So now how are you able to set them up? Once you go inside of your gallery, head inside of your downloads, and then this is where they should all be sitting. Now, once you found one that you want to use on your device, you'd be able to go on the very top right-hand side, click those little three dots, click as save as wallpaper. This is where you can do home screen, lock screen, or both. And when you do the home screen, because there is a motion effect, you can see how there's like an option for motion effect right here. And that means that when you move your phone around, it'll kind of move around with you as well. You wanna make sure that the motion effect is turned off. So that's actually kind of hard for you guys to see. So let's go with this one here. So set as wallpaper, home screen, and then this is where it says motion effect. So you see this option here. Now, if you wanna make sure that you have the motion effect turned off, so in this way, everything is going to fit your screen the way it's supposed to. And then once you have it set up, now this is going to be your brand new wallpaper or background for that device. So I'm just gonna move right on back into what I was using from before uh, and let's go. <laughs> Actually, here's another one I do like. So this one right here is Super Mario Brothers uh, and there is that little uh, uh, Nintendo controller. So it fits perfectly where select you know, should be. Uh, and then you have all the rest that I kind of showed from before with Minion and everybody else. So let's go right on back to this image here. I get a lot of laughs with this one. So head back to wallpaper home screen, make sure your, your motion effect is turned off, and then you just set it as the wallpaper. And now you are good to go. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side, that little red circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.